Lively Run has been in existence since 1982. Uh, my parents bought it from the original owners in 1995. My brother Dave and I grew up milking goats. So, you know, as kids, we, we were a farmstead operation. We had our own herd of goats here that we made cheese from. We switched from kind of a farmstead model to now what you might call like a creamery where we're buying in milk. And that's kind of also changed a little bit of our mission. We really see ourselves as being here to support family farms. So a big part of what we do is we pay farms really well for their milk. We are, a, a, a lot of the issues that farmers are having right now is that the milk prices are very low and it's hard to stay in operation. So. We are trying to change that trend. We pay really well for milk. We're trying to help farms, you know, thrive rather than just survive. I grew up as, you know, half of kind of a dairy farmer and a lot of my close friends growing up are dairy farmers. So we knew that there was milk dumping happening. And, you know, that's heartbreaking for farms because of the waste and because of, you know, all the work that they put into it. We were thinking about this and like, man, what can we do about this problem? And we came up with the idea to have a GoFundMe. We're buying milk from farms that would otherwise be dumping it. We're making cheese with it and we are donating it all to food banks. So uh, the, the GoFundMe, the money that we've raised is going to cover the cost of the milk and the cost of production, you know, labor and materials without us making a profit. The idea is, you know, it's a, it's, it's a charitable uh, endeavor, so we're just passing it through and donating the cheese to the food banks. I mean, there's more people with food insecurity issues now, I think, than we've had in a long, long time. It's pretty unprecedented. So food banks are scrambling for food in general. And the biggest challenge has been just coordinating all of the logistics, making sure that we get the right amounts. Right now, we're actually I wish we had more cheese because we're getting more requests, you know, than we actually have cheese to fill. So I'm, you know, we're trying to get more cheese made in order to take care of that. But it's, you know, there's there's a lot of need out there. Literally five minutes before this interview, I was packing up the cheese that will be donated on Friday. We don't have the final weight yet, but um, I think we're going to be right around somewhere between 400 and 450 pounds of cheese that will be going out this Friday to local food banks here in, I think, uh, I don't have the full list in front of me. A lot of them will be Seneca County, but then we're also working with ones at Tompkins and the Southern tier generally. So this is milk that if they weren't, if, if we weren't buying it, it would have been bought by whoever their regular buyer would be and then would be dumped. So the regular buyers are still paying for it, but then they're dumping it. We are in the process of setting up a nonprofit organization. We're working with a, a group in Ithaca called the Center for Transformative Action, uh, which the kind of easiest way to describe them in a nutshell is as a nonprofit incubator. But they're providing us with the legal structure to become a nonprofit. And then the idea is to raise more funds and to basically use that money to set up exactly what we're doing with other cheesemakers around New York State. There's no reason why every artisan cheesemaker around can't be doing the exact same thing we're doing if we can get funding. You know, there's lots of milk that's surplus. There's no reason why we can't be making cheese at other cheese plants and donating it to food banks wherever they're located.